Hello, I want to share with you what I've been doing with a box fan and a strobe light. Here's a, here's a box fan with the grill off. Now, be really careful. The, the span will be spinning in this activity without the grill, so please be careful with your students. Uh, what I've done here with the blades is I've colored each blade with a different colored dot. I just simply took a, a dry erase pen and uh, I, I numbered the blades, one, two, three, four, five, in a, in a counterclockwise fashion. Uh, I also drew a stick figure on top of the, the colored dot. And in, in thinking about uh, the blade and the strobe light, maybe I can create a motion picture of sorts, uh, whereby the stick figure, notice that it's in different positions, and I'm going to achieve the, the effect of a stick figure running on top of a ball that appears to be changing colors. Also, notice I placed a black dot next to the stick figure. So the stick figure is going to juggle, juggle a ball. And uh, let's, let's see what happens. Now, I'm going to uh, turn on this box fan so that it will be spinning so that you can see in the light of the room, the box fan is actually spinning. Now, I'm going to turn the, the lights off. And now the blades appear to be motionless, although you see them rock back and forth. Uh, but I have the strobe light set to 11.5 hertz, and this is the, the rate at which the, the fan blade is, going under, is undergoing one revolution. So the, when, we, when we flash the light on, it appears to be steady, but in fact, it is spinning. Now, uh, now I'm gonna increase the speed of the, of the strobe light, and notice what happens. And to my, not to my surprise, but I was kind of excited when it happened the first time around, I'm able to get the stick figure to be running on top of this ball. Let's see if I can, there you go. So here's the stick figure running on top of a ball that's changing colors. And the, the stick figure is juggling a ball and not quite keeping the ball close to his body, but it looks like the, the ball is going around below the, the colored dot. Now also notice the numbers are changing. Okay, that's, that's to be expected. But my next move with the frequency is I'm going to increase this frequency, and we're going to look at what appears to be a standing wave pattern. Okay, and I want you to take note as to the order of the numbers. Okay, now uh, I'm going to count in a I'm going to count in a or count but observe in a counterclockwise fashion. So what we have here is one. Four, two, five, three. So I'm starting with one. So one, four, two, five, three. Uh, so we have definitely these blades are ordered differently, and it's and it appears to be happening twice. So one, two, four, five, three. One, two, four, five, three. Or one, four, two, five, three. Okay. And now, it's, to look at that that sequence of numbers, what we have here is three odd consecutive integers counting down and then two followed by two consecutive even numbers counting down that, that's kind of odd because the way I ordered the, the blades one two three four five uh, in ascending order in a clockwise, clockwise fashion counterclockwise fashion okay I'm gonna increase the speed of the blades again and I want you to notice the new patterns and numbers that develop Okay, let me boost this up, and there we go. Okay, so in a clockwise fashion, counterclockwise fashion, one, three, five, two, four. So what we have now is three consecutive odd numbers ascending, okay, one, three, five, followed by two ascending even integers, two, four. Isn't that cool? All right, I'm going to boost this up and get the uh, stick figure running again on top of the ball. Notice that it's really, really, really fast. And let's see if I, I'm going to get this even. There you go. Isn't that cool? Uh, so the stick figure doesn't look, appear to be running, but doing jumping jacks very quickly. But hopping on top of the ball. So there you have it. Something fun you can do with a box fan. Okay and uh, a strobe light. All right, have a nice day.